Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new series on AWS which cover its basic to the advanced level. And you need not to worry if you are a complete beginner. This series will cover all the topics if you need to learn AWS, clear any certification and even project building. Content of this video will have the basic definition of cloud computing, the types of cloud computing, different cloud providers, and the cloud deployment model. This series will be a one-point solution to learning the basics of cloud computing as well as learning the fundamentals of AWS and even the hands-on which will be required to clear any level of AWS certifications such as Solution Architect or Developer Associate and many more. Cloud computing composed of two words, cloud plus computing. Both contribute to a specific computing style. Let us look at them one by one. What we have with us is a computer and its task is to perform computing. Computing may involve processing, storage and running application software. And we are familiar with the traditional form of computing which may have several problems. Most importantly, having physical access to computer, which may be difficult for expanding businesses for new entrepreneurs as they need to make capital expenditure as well as capacity forecast and may face over-provisioned or under-provisioned resources, which can cause losses. And then cloud computing comes into picture as a new form of on-demand computing. Additionally, we have with us a computer with data and application stored on it. Now, with the help of cloud computing, we say that store and run the application on cloud rather than your local computer. And this data is accessed through internet. Now the question arises, what is cloud? Clouds are nothing but big buildings filled with computers or servers, also known as data centers. The owner of these companies are known as cloud providers and they are selling computer as a service on internet. Suppose you want to build an application for video streaming. In that case, you have to create your own video server. First of all, it is not an easy task. To keep that server working, you have to make sure it is well maintained, always in service, prevent crashes and bear all its costs. So here is why companies are using cloud computing. The first reason is cost. With cloud computing, a company can avoid a lot of expenses in buying a lot of computers and softwares. Another reason is reliability. Because when you hire a cloud, the cloud provider is responsible for all the data backup and recovery. And if one of the data center goes down, then they will also have several redundant sites as backup, which ensures that your application is available all the time. The next advantage is scalability. Cloud providers will offer a pay-as-you-go method where you can pay for only what you need. So whether you need to rent a few computers or a lot, it doesn't matter. And as your business grow, you have an another option to instantly get more servers to fulfill your needs. And further, if you do not need many server, you can scale back to the original or the required capacity. So it is very easy with cloud. The next question you may think that what cloud providers actually provide. So they offer us three services. They are also known as types of cloud computing. They offer infrastructure, platform and software services. And these three vary in control and flexibility. So it is up to the user to decide what suits their business well. So the first one is infrastructure as a service or IaaS. Now in this type, we are basically going to rent the hardware portion. And the cloud provider will manage servers, storage, 
virtualization and the networking portion. And you, on the other hand, will still have control over the software portion, such as application, data, operating system, middleware, and runtime. The next one is Platform as a Service. Now, Platform as a Service also allow the cloud provider to manage the portion of your business. But here, the cloud provider will have more control as compared to infrastructure as a service. In PaaS, cloud provider not only manages the hardware such as server, storage, and networking, but it also manages the operating system, middleware, and runtime. You, on the other hand, are only responsible for the application and the data. And finally, there is software as a service, which is probably the most common cloud service by far. In this type, all the applications are hosted by the cloud provider. There is no software to install on your computer, no hardware to manage. You can access and run the application from your computer when you connect to the cloud service through the internet. The next thing of which you may be wondering about is how many cloud providers are actually there in the market. So here are the three big players, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, out of which AWS is the best one. AWS is the best one because it offers all the three services of cloud platform in a best professional manner. Now, the next thing that we are going to study in this video is about cloud deployment models. They are three in numbers, namely all in cloud, hybrid cloud, and private cloud, which is also known as on-premises cloud. All-in cloud is a cloud-based application that is fully deployed in the cloud, and all the parts of the application run in the cloud. Applications in the cloud have either been created in the cloud or have been migrated from an existing infrastructure. Whereas a hybrid deployment is a way to connect infrastructure and application between cloud-based resources and existing resources that are not located in the cloud. A hybrid deployment model is used to extend an organization's infrastructure into cloud while connecting cloud resources to internal systems. The next one is private cloud. When you run a cloud infrastructure from your own data center, that is called on-premises or private cloud. While this kind of deployment lacks many of the benefits of cloud computing, it does provide dedicated resources and is a popular choice for organizations who need certain compliance standard. It is same as the legacy IT infrastructure systems. With this, we come to an end to the first video on AWS series. Hope the meaning of cloud computing is clear to you all. If you like the content, do share your thoughts on comments and don't forget to share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.